Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Curtis Racer. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, surround your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. Right on that. And they separate. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, 
we're getting a finish here. Oh, countering it looks like with a bomb flu choke. Maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hip and get back to your feet. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Guillotine attempt now, looks as though he's got the neck. Oh, nice guillotine there. He might get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Against side mount, and now maybe the Von flu choke will be there. Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. Where's your skates? <laughs> and that will do it! He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and So we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.